successfully we have completed unit 1 today we are going to look at unit 2 which is food biotechnology and we are going to start with this particular unit broader objectives and content of this particular unit are history and development of food biotechnology importance of biotechnology in food safety for this particular session we are going to begin with lesson number one and the outline for the session are history of food biotechnology development of food biotechnology importance of biotechnology in food security and safety let us look at history and development of food biotechnology so way back 10,000 around 10,000 years ago farming began in the world so people eventually started using processes which prevent or slow down the bacterial growth then fermentation processes were evolved around 1000 4000 years ago cheese production was successfully done later on people started using enzymes and much focus on enzymes was given for the further development of food products genetic research began with respect to food biotechnology genetic research began in the mid 1800s and our DNA technology eventually was employed in the year 1973 and in 1900s first our DNA product which is flavor sever tomato was brought into the market so with this brief and short history let us move on to the importance of biotechnology in food security and safety so biotechnology will help us overcome the food insecurity basically by producing high yield crops which are resistant to the biotic and abiotic stresses also reducing pest associated losses and increasing the nutritional value of the food despite the genetically modified organisms which we call as gmo being over two decades the difficulty of debating this particular subject is that of course we still do not know how they affect our human body in the long go in the long run so to solve the problems of genetically modified food challenges we can choose between two different policies either totally ban the genetically modified organism products from being commercialized no production or no consumption of these genetically modified food anymore or further more research studies and regulations are necessary are required before even genetic modification is to be done and marketing is to be done so the first policy of course is not logical and this technology cannot be halted because of you know the important potential benefits that this particular technology offers to the society thus we have no option to go for the second policy we have to move for the second policy as to more research is to be conducted studies and the regulations before even making the genetic modifications to the crops or the organisms and of course the marketing so according to the second policy genetic modification should be adopted under the conditions which avoid potential risks so time and effort must be devoted to field testing before the release of any new genetically modified organism or crop or food into the market so genetically modified products should be evaluated over the long period of time to establish their effects on health agricultural pests 
environment and suitable regulations are necessary to avoid the possible environmental and safety problems. So this is the importance of biotechnology that it offers in food security and safety. So with this, I need you to do certain tasks. I want you all to recall the development of food biotechnology, history of course the development. Also, I want you all to list out the importance of biotechnology for food safety and security with respect to genetically modified organisms. With this, we will end our lesson 1 of unit 2 which is food biotechnology. Thank you so much.